heard of children being bullied. Now WPBF 25 News is exposing senior bullying. Experts say it happens to one in five seniors, believe it or not, and there's nothing preventing it. Until now, there's actually new legislation aimed at protecting our parents and our grandparents. He basically said, uh, too bad Hitler didn't get the rest of the Jews in the oven. Ken Hillowitz says that he's afraid in his own Delray Beach home. After a life and career in the Northeast, he dreamed of retiring in sunny South Florida. Terror. I'm afraid to go to the pool when uh, he's at the pool. I've been a victim of bias, racism, and uh, anti-Semitic remarks. Some senior on senior fights even making national headlines. Come on. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh, 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 it even came to blows between two Boca Raton seniors during a heated HOA meeting. In the state of Florida, there is no statute that prevents bullying of senior citizens. Representative Emily Slosberg is proposing an anti-senior bullying law. Right now, Missouri is the only state that actually has one. This is, is incredibly important for the state. It should, have, it should have been on the books a while back. Nationally, one in five seniors will report being bullied, where school children, one in seven will report being bullied. Bonnie Conrad with the Area Agency on Aging says that elder abuse is actually underreported. Conrad says it can also lead to isolation and mental problems. I don't mean to be completely dramatic here, but you're kind of almost saying that, you know, bullying can lead to a deadly situation for seniors. It can, and that isolation, people who are isolated die sooner. They have more medical problems. They're more likely to end up in a nursing home. I want to see uh, the police do something, and the only way they're going to do something if Tallahassee passes a law. We heard from Representative Slusberg. Now, she says she's going to fight, among other things, to have a mandatory reporting system in place at the communities across the state. So it would be something that might be in, like, your HOA. It would be mm -hmm. a, a reporting system. So if you had a problem, you had some place to go. I didn't realize this was so prevalent. You know, I didn't either, and apparently they, um, the expert we talked to said school children, one in seven report being bullied, but as we said in the piece, one in five seniors report being bullied, uh, and they think that's underreported because hopefully there will be eventually um, a law in place, but until now, I mean, if Most they, people think grown adults don't bully you would each think other. So, you would think so, but if you really, if you were to report it right now, nobody can do anything, so they think a lot of people probably are staying silent and becoming isolated, and it's causing problems. Salzburg also hopes to have a bipartisan bill ready to introduce next session. So we'll watch that very closely.